Test, 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 microphone test. Test, test, test. Test, 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 microphone All right. test. Alright, my mic worked. Alright, so I'm back. Uh, my headset exploded and broke and it was out of commission. I had to rig it up. <clears throat> so that's why the past couple videos don't have sound. So in the meantime, I discovered how to fish Mosquito Lake more efficiently once you are uh, a higher level. So um, first, let me open this up. Uh, once you do winding rivulet and you get you get better gear, you can come back to Mosquito Lake and uh, grind here. And I've made enough XP to come to uh, Oldberg Lake and that's what I'm going to do. So uh, before I do that, I'm going to tell you how to fish Mosquito Lake. So <clears throat> when you spawn, you're going to spawn in the village. We're going to hit M, bring up the map. Here's the village. We're going to walk the path. We're going to cross this bridge. We're going to come down here right where the number two is. We're going to fish this little area right here. Um, nope. Actually, we're going to come around over here. We're going to fish over here this way. It's called uh, High Mosquito Abode. Uh, so let's head over there before it gets dark that way I can show you the gears and everything um, I find it easier to come through the drunken pass over here drunk pass and elks watering hole and the campsite and everything So let's hurry up and get over there So I can show you the spots tell you the spots um, I made a quick video, but <clears throat> right after I discovered how to do it, but um, No mic so now I'm making one with mic so here we go, that was the campsite over there. You're gonna come around this little path. Right up here, there's a wooden bridge. We're gonna have to cross, here we go. We're gonna cross this bridge. We're gonna start heading down over here by these lilacs or whatever. And walk through this grass. We're gonna pass these big trees. Right there, higher mosquito abode. You're in a good area, bam. There's this wooden structure right here. And uh, for frogs, all you need is, I use a telescopic pole, I was using the bamboo pole, but I got better gear. So you need a size 20 or smaller hook, and uh, you need to use flies. Uh, I switched over to a slam bobber, and the majority of the time, all I do is just toss it right here, right in front of these lily pads. Uh, be careful with those lily pads, there's a nasty snag right where the flowers are. So, um, if you toss it right between the flowers or you fish right between the flowers, you'll get snagged. And, uh, with the size 20 and smaller and the flies, uh, frogs automatically get hooked. So, you can just leave that there, catch like four or five frogs in the entire time that you come. So, this entire area is full of crucians. You can catch them. Right off the shore, right between, I, I like to fish this area right here for the crucians. You see that grass right there, this grass right here, and that stump right around this area will catch you uh, crucians consistently. But you need to have um, a bottom, a bottom rod. Uh, this is the one I'm using, this bottom, basic bottom fishing rig with your weight on there. And I use, I'm using the size 8. I don't know if I got a size 6, but these are cheaper hooks and just bread. And what I do is I just toss it straight ahead. Alright, I back up a little bit. I put it down. I just wind it up until the bell rings. And I leave that there. Then I take out my gear. So, um, right around this area, just cast and retrieve through here. Cast towards those logs, cast towards that. Um, tons of pike spawn around this little area where the tip of my rod is. Uh, perch, you can catch big perch like half, like there's like there's something already messing. With. Just leave that alone. Frogs automatically hook themselves, and we already have a thing. I'm gonna leave that alone too. Uh, but watch out, there's this nasty snag right around those three flowers, and it'll glitch your game, it'll break your stuff. Um, so what I'm what I do is this worm is a beast over here. This worm will destroy this area. So um, let me show you that. 
I'm using the tier 2 fishing gear because you need tier 3. I just bought this string. I haven't put it to work yet. Uh, you need a size 1 jig and this is the force tier jig. And here's my worm. I ended up buying a black worm. I'm going to test it out since it's nighttime and black worms are good during the night. So I'm just going to show you how I, how I retrieve and everything. So I use max cast. I throw it straight. This entire area right here, this entire column right here, all the way up to this grass to the shore is full of pikes. So I, I press R, I go all the way to 40. Go all the way to 40 and then I do one, two, three, four. I stop for about three seconds. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and that's about the basic pattern. And you'll see at the bottom left, jig step is already turned on. And so, the longer the words jig step are on the screen, the higher probability of catching a fish. Uh, this area is real good for uh, half half a kilogram perch. Uh, you'll end up catching pikes all the way up to two to two and a half kilograms. That's why I switch string. Cause I'm going to Old Boro Lake, and many times the the half a uh, half a kil the the kilogram and a half pikes or or and the two kilogram pikes will uh, run your run your line lengths if you're just using the 120 meter super line. Uh, yeah, but you need at least the a higher quality rod and reel to fish here so that's why I'm telling you come here after you grind Mosquito Lake otherwise you're gonna get spoiled you're gonna break your gear uh, this lake is very deep it's five meters just right outside this little bank and the pike the pike they love to to hit it up and uh, you you have to fight them like even with even with this rod and reel setup that I have, um, I was using the 120 meter super line, the cheapest one, and there have been times where I have the warning message that tells me I'm about to get spooled. So here you go. You can fish crucians basically all day long. They're usually this size or, or bigger. I've caught them. Um, like, like you would get the lucky... Lucky Crucian, Lucky Bonus Points. Um, what I like about this spot is it helps you level up real fast. All this has just been from Fishing Crucians. I imagine that's, uh, what is that, 0. 0.2, that's 5 times 5, that's 25, I guess. Uh, I don't know, math. So that's 25 Crucians that give you bonus just off the top. I mean, that's like, what, 2 or 3 days in game. Oh, I released a fish? Oh, well, I'm making the video anyways. Uh, hell, I thought... I don't know what the hell I was doing. I, I thought I was hitting escape to put the rod up. I don't know what the heck I was doing. So, yeah, like, I don't think I can catch a fish in the middle of the night here. I'll, um... I'll switch over to this jig, this Simon's Classic Head. You Like, I was using this, but these are the cheapest ones. They're not good. You need... Um, you need a better, you need a better hook. This is, I think this is the force tier jig head. Um, what works here real good, this one, I killed it. Look at all the XP that I, that I mean, all the wear and tear. I was killing it the very first time I came. I, but then I ended up buying this guy, and this guy has been destroying, just destroying all the, 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 the fish that are here. Um, the fatty perch, they love it, and every now and then you'll get a huge pike. So just be careful, I mean, <clears throat> you can do it with a, you need 12 pound line, and you need at least a, the second tier fishing rod, which is the, the Lazer, Lazerati 400S or whatever, uh, before you can actually fish here efficiently. For the pike, but yeah, you will you can land at least four or five pikes a day uh, that are over a kilogram and a half. I've fished the crap out of this area, and the game has it so that pike don't appear if you keep fishing them. So yeah, just 
use your telescopic rod, drop yourself a fly. The depth for the fly is actually 20, 20 or shorter. Um, and then just toss it right, right next to the lily pads. Don't toss it into the lily pads. You kind of want to pull it out like right there. And then I leave the line tight. I step back and then I drop it down. Uh, that way when frogs take it, they hook themselves because they'll run, they'll try to run away with it. Uh, that's about it. So, just jig, uh, jig step it, bring it back through here. Uh, if you're not catching anything, the majority, 99% of the fish are going to be caught right around that grass from this end. To that end all the way to back there uh, I pulled out pikes right behind this log um, if you bring the lure through these lily pads on the edges uh, you'll catch perch like crazy as well they love it uh, this is the only place uh, this is the only place I found where pike consistently are if I find an alternative place I'll be sure to release a second video for it but I'm going to go ahead and end this video and I'm going to go to Old Burrows and, and start there. So I'm going to end this video I'm going to start a new one. Uh, yeah, hope you guys land yourself some, some big fish. The crucians here, they get enormous. One kilogram and a half. Sometimes if you bait it, you'll, you could just catch fish the entire day if you're into that.